Well, yesterday was St George's Day, and as you were all getting ready to get your message alert from the government at 3 p.m., or I have to say, I didn't get it, I disabled the phone. But as we waited for that, a new race row erupted, but this time it was caused by Diane Abbott. It was a letter that she had printed in the Observer. And basically what she was saying is that Jewish people, travellers and others may experience prejudice, but they don't suffer from outright racism. And it's led to an absolute storm of condemnation. Now, I think for Sir Keir Starmer, this must be like Christmas has come early. Another chance to prove that he really is cleaning up the Labour Party. He's got rid of Jeremy Corbyn. And now, here was Jeremy Corbyn's shadow, Home Secretary, giving Starmer a complete open goal. He's acted quickly. He's made it clear. He thinks her comments were anti-Semitic. And she is suspended. I very much doubt myself that she'll be allowed to stand for the Labour Party at the next election. I think this is the end of Diane Abbott's career. Tell me what you think, Farage at gbnews.uk. But the last sentence of the letter is something that no media outlets have picked up on at all and don't wish to discuss or debate. You see, they find it just too awful. Because at the end, what she wrote is, there were no white-seeming people manacled on slave ships. You see, in Diane Abbott's world, slavery is just something that white people did to black people. And we are to feel guilty for the rest of time about what happened. Yet the story, I believe, is far more complex, far more complicated, and yet no one ever wants to talk about it.